Hello, this is Mark from the Photomatics team. I'm going to show you what's new in Photomatics Pro 7. First, the new interactive batch feature. Photomatics Pro has a powerful batch feature that's a big time saver when you want to create hundreds of HDR images after a photo shoot. But it can sometimes be useful to preview an HDR image before batching. For instance, for real estate photos, when you have a mix of interior and exterior images with different lighting conditions. In version 7, you can now do that and choose different settings for each image. In the batch preview, you can view the effect of the settings on your images and navigate through them using the next and previous buttons. You can choose presets or adjust individual settings. And if you want, you can apply the adjustments you made to the current image to all the remaining images in the batch. You can also choose to save all individual settings in XMP files separately and reuse them later. Then you run the batch and automatically process each image with the settings you've chosen. As well as dragging bracketed sets into Photomatics, you can access the batch preview feature using this new option in the batch window. Next, version 7 adds a new feature to Photomatics Pro's powerful ghost removal tool. When using selective deghosting, you can now save the areas as a mask. First, select the areas needing deghosting as usual. Then, you can save the areas as a mask. If you need to process the same bracketed photos later on, you'll load the saved mask and won't have to reselect the areas again. I also want to show you the addition of DNG support, especially 32-bit for HDR images. When you're merging to 32-bit, you can choose to save in floating-point DNG format. These DNG files can be adjusted in Lightroom or edited in Adobe Camera Raw. The same format options are available when using the batch to merge your bracketed sets. Find out more by trying Photomatics Pro 7 yourself using this link. Or if you liked this video, you might find this one useful. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, use the comments box below.